Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're watching Green Wave TV Alternative Media Television. What do you believe? Do you believe in God? Do you believe in a higher power, absolute truth? Or do you have an evolutionist perspective? Do you believe it's a series of randomness that I can inhale oxygen, that photosynthesis can take place, that a cell can operate as eloquently, beautifully, and creatively, and perfectly as it possibly can so I can speak to you at this very given moment? The fact that you're interpreting what I'm saying is a complete and utter act of randomness. Why is it that science and creationists seem to be fighting all the time? Can't we all just get along? But honestly, seriously, I want to know, what do you believe? What do you think? Is there a God? Is there an absolute truth? Is there an absolute power? Or do people themselves define the law of the land? And if that's the case, how do we define what's good and evil? What makes somebody like Hitler who decides he's going to go kill Jews any worse than the other guy on the street who maybe calls himself an agnostic or an atheist and lives a good and prudent life? Is it being our or the urge or want to be our own gods that has separated us from God? himself or herself? What do you believe? Because it's a very important question that guides your day-to-day -day actions and your day-to-day -day interactions with other people. You know, it's funny and interesting. Some of the most highly intelligent people I know and some of the best people I know are Christians. And I know others and know others very, very well that have an evolutionist perspective that are also highly intelligent and are so adamant and so dogmatic about their position. They say, Christopher, science dis proves religion. Well, maybe it does disprove religion. Maybe religion itself is flawed, but it doesn't necessarily disprove God. It doesn't necessarily disprove absolute power, absolute authority, absolute truth. Isn't that what it's all about? You know, you look at government, we talk about this all the time, corruption at the highest law of the land. How do we prevent that from happening when it is human nature to sin, when it is human nature to take upon evil acts? Are we born good or are we born evil? The evolutionists think and want to play into the idea that they're their own gods and they don't necessarily have to obey a leader or some kind of cultish propaganda. And then you have the creationists that say, you you must obey, you must get on your knees, you must repent, otherwise you're going to hell. And they speak with such authority as if they are God. How is that in and of itself not blasphemous? And then of course there is so much fighting that it really just blurs the lines between what's real, what's not, and the most important question we're trying to identify and I'm asking today, is there a God? What does that mean? How does this play into our individual lives, our paradigm of what it means to be alive? Are there other intelligent life on another planet somewhere in another galaxy just like us? Or are we the only ones? Are we special? Or maybe that's the cruel, magnificent joke that people just can't deal with. That we're here and it is just that. One series and random act where nothing really makes sense. There is no heaven. There is no hell. It's just what you make of our short period of time. And that in and of itself may be what it means to be human, to be alive, and to have meaning in our own lives. I'm Christopher Green. You've been watching Green Wave TV, alternative media television, and I just deliver the Daily Wave, hard hitting and in your face. If you think this video should be seen by more people, please share it on Facebook, Twitter, and your other social media networks. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Green 34 Follow us on Facebook at GreenWave TV and Twitter at GreenWave. As always, I'm Christopher Green, hard hitting and in your face.